here we are, Red Bull Ampole Racing, second quarter review, fellas. We are going okay, we're leading the team's championship, just, so it's, it's not going to be too painful on you. Um, but hey, let's start with the Ville, let's, let's, work. let's start with the last race and then head backwards. Um, so SVG, you got punted in the last quarter, last race. Yep. Uh, Anton got five second penalty, what do you think? Was it fair, was the move on? Was, do you reckon the move was on or not? Um, is this like your Bathurst move was on? Is that exactly, yeah. yeah. So it probably wasn't? Probably not, no. <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't on, yeah. Like I come out of the corner before and didn't even... I looked in the mirror and saw he got a bad exit, so I yeah. knew I was fine and didn't look again until I got spun. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Scafie's been talking up, though. He, he, wants, he wants drivers r running into you, basically. What do you... Oh, yeah, cool. Um... I've obviously thought about it a lot after the weekend, and I guess it's good that he had a go, but yeah. he probably thinks as well he could have done it more calculated. But yeah, um, yeah. yeah like I love the racing, and yeah. I love that they didn't penalise him more in the end, and they yeah. just reversed the positions. Yeah. So that encourages it to happen more. Yeah. But um, yeah, getting spun out wasn't fun. Yeah, no, I yeah. agree. We're all for the racing, 100%. Yeah. Um, you seem to love the hard tyre on the weekend. I like, <laughs> absolutely love it. Any more to that one? Uh, yeah, good sarcasm. <laughs> I just felt like they're, I don't know, juggling trying to make the racing different and artificial. Yeah. And it was pretty self-explanatory. Everyone did the same thing, hard, hard, soft. So yeah. it didn't really do what they thought. Yeah. And we've done for years that the hard tyre is no good for racing. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know who makes those decisions, but yeah. So yeah, so your car got the record on the weekend. Yep. You're gonna you're gonna try to buy it. Yeah. How much is it gonna cost? I suppose me? that's a question for me, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's already sold. But I'll talk to the guy that owns it and see if we can get it back. But um, no, it'd be a good one to keep. I remember having. Gee, I reckon it was. Um, Bob Jane, Bob Jane was a family friend of ours, and I remember him always saying, mate, one day if you can, keep one of your race cars. Yeah. This applies to both of you. You've just got to keep one yeah. of your race cars. So certainly that one would be a good one to keep. So It would be cool. I got my former Ford back, and Dad's restoring that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't get the first championship car, Didn't. whereas this one means a lot. It's been three years. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would be cool to have something from my career. I don't like trophies or anything, so yeah, no. that'd be something cool to keep. Yeah. Yeah, straight in the living room of your house. It yeah. would be. Retire yeah. yeah, perfect. Yes. Um, yeah. What do you prefer, bro? Street track or permanent circuit? Uh, yeah, they both got their place, but it's good to get back to a street track. We haven't raced there in a while. Lot. Haven't raced on a street track for a while. So um, before my time, but you know, Shane keeps going on about you know a few years ago, you guys were racing at street tracks a lot. So yeah. mm. it's good fun. But I think the best thing is you're in the city. You get the people there. So. Yeah. I think Townsville's a good place for it. It's a cool track, but yeah. the town sort of gets behind it, which is yeah. cool. Yeah, no, good. Um, the Big Cheese was back <clears throat> on track. Haven't seen him for a couple of years. Yeah, yeah it was Clipsal 2020 was his last Supercars race. So wow. That's a long time. Yeah. But yeah, he was there and had his little side bets going and yeah, everything. So <laughs> it was good. I cleaned up on Sunday, which was cool. Yeah, <laughs> no, good. <laughs> oh, no, that's a joke. So we'll, get, we'll go back around to Darwin. Um, the Indigenous livery, I thought it looked ace. Yeah, it looked awesome. Yeah. yeah. It was cool, hey? It's cool to change it, like, every once in a while, do yeah. the one round, but obviously I'm pretty biased. Our car looked awesome, but the whole grid did a good job. Yeah, yeah. And massive work behind the scenes, because it's not like you're just stickering or wrapping one car. You're doing two cars and the eight spares yes. or whatever, so it's a massive yeah. job. So I can see why a few teams actually kept it going for another <laughs> round, because you've yeah. got this massive effort in for one round. It was difficult, but no, I thought it looked ace. Um, you got a your penalty, you got a penalty in the last race. Yeah, crashed into Will. Yeah. And when I passed him, I did it wrong and we hit wheel to wheel. Yeah. It just ripped the steering out of my hands yeah. and then drove me straight off the track. Yeah. And it um, broke the power steering pump, or smashed the housing. So I, it didn't actually bend anything, it just broke the power steering. So yeah. then I couldn't turn back and it just looked like I ran him off the track. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It ripped the wheel out of my hand. Yeah. Normally you can just bump and keep going. But yeah. The way it hit was no good. But. I think we made a, a game with that in Gen 3, with the wheel nuts smaller and inboard more. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah, I don't think the spokes are as exposed. Are aggressive they? as well, yeah. So hopefully that's good. Um, well, that's a good thing. Rumour has it that you blokes hit it pretty hard Sunday night. Is, it, was that, is that true? 
in Darwin. Yeah. Well, I don't drink, so I had a late night. Went to the casino and lost twenty dollars. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a that was a that was a few expensive. that was a few big parties what, happening. What were you yeah. playing? Yeah, roulette. 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 Yeah. I watched a man lose a few grand, so I was, oh, yeah. I was pretty happy sitting someone there with you, my 20 someone, bucks. Someone that maybe we know? Or? No, 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 no definitely not. No, definitely yeah, not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I lost okay. 20 bucks too, but it was on a shitty kebab at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. Yeah, nice. <laughs> um, and uh, so let's go back to Winton. Um, the only eventful thing from Winton really was... Um, Leaving. Yeah, the... Bu- the <laughs> You had to get the buggy to the podium. Oh, yeah. That was good. Um, I had a go then as well and it didn't quite work. <laughs> oh, Winton's great. That's a terrible yeah, thing yeah. to say about Winton. It's a fantastic event. I actually like going there again. It's yeah, the first yeah. time we've been there for years. Yeah. It's actually pretty cool to drive because the surface is so good. You yeah. can just go hard the whole time. But yeah. Yeah, it's um, got a buggy to the pit lane. That was pretty funny. Got yeah. views, pretty good for it too. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's actually a good crowd there. There's a yeah, good, good, a good authentic event. crowd. They've been there forever, so it's, it makes sense. Um, yeah. Perth, six hundred, six Holden, six hundredth <clears throat> win. Yeah. So run me through this stat. What have you? What have you got? You got the six hundredth. Haven't you got Holden six hundredth? I think it's four fifty, five hundred, five fifty, six hundred, or something. It's stupid. Ridiculous. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool stat. Did, did yeah. you know it, w- it was going to be six, their 600 win or not? It just happened. Oh, I did know. I'd read stuff about it, but I didn't know I had all the milestones. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty special. Yeah, yeah. ridiculous. I think the, f- well, the first one was Stones Cup, wasn't it? Was it? No, they were Ford. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first one? Uh, I think it was Techno somewhere. A techno yeah. car, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. But oh, even yeah. on the weekend, you got, I think he passed your, passed Kate. Oh yeah, Most yes. Lap sled. Yeah. Your race car, yeah. Your current race car has now got one more. So I think, fr- from what from memory, don't quote me on this. I think it was that um, Kate, which was the Vodafone car, and then I think Scafie's car, Scafie's car and Ambrose's car were a second and were second and third. So now oh, your cool. car's overdone the whole lot. So cool thing for us is um, one, two. top yeah. two, top two cars are triple eight cars, which is ace. That's cool. Um, we'll go back to the Oz Grand Prix, Larry Perkins Trophy. Yep, yep, and Did Larry was there too. Larry so was there. Pretty special, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you Tire failures, that was the yeah. story of that one. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy, yeah. hey? New track. I don't think any of us expected that. Like, no. we gambled. I think we both qualified poor in the first one. Yeah. So we thought we'd start on <laughs> softs, and luckily, <laughs> yeah. it, was it was the right call. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And poor DJs, like who would have thought the thing would only last ten laps? Yeah, you know? that's not even. Yeah, I did feel I did feel sorry for them having to pit again and just end up yeah. pee nowhere. But yeah, that was the story of the weekend. Yeah, dumb um, luck for us to get that right. But yeah, it worked out well. Hundred percent. And uh, you had Checo in the car. That was yeah, that cool. was pretty cool. It's cool yeah. to meet like those guys. But yeah, to have him have him drive around over over the motor a couple of times. But uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So have you spoken to Checo after he drove the car and did, did he actually ask you if it was manual or not? Yeah, he did, yeah. I don't think he really knew what he was getting into. He sort of just rocked up and saw there was a gear shift in there. So um, yeah, it was a bit of a surprise, yeah. but no, he didn't follow me back, so I haven't spoken yeah. to him since. I but uh, when Max sat in our car, he wondered what the three pedals were. Yeah. He's normally only used to two. Yeah, mm. yeah. he he left foot braked out there, which was fine, yeah. but yep. yeah, he had a... He had a couple of over revs. He got pretty high up in the RPM, yeah. but um, he told. Tell him off on the radio. No, I didn't. I couldn't see it at the time, so yeah. I'll let that one slide. But he told me I could come and drive his car one day, so we'll have yeah. to chase him up. Yeah, hundred <laughs> um, percent. But really, to be honest, the the best race of the weekend was this speed comparison. I, I don't know if you saw it or not. Purple no, sectors. we were in yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a. Um, <laughs> The tyres were pulled back, but let's disregard that. I had big you had purple. like three green sets all yeah. weekend. Mate. Yeah, I had, yeah, I had green tyres. Anyway, I, I, no I, I would have been P4 for Quali, to be honest, in the middle sector. But uh, yeah, got the speed comparison. So that was that was, that was the biggest win for the year. You've got to take them. When, when you're my age and retired, you, you take anything you can get. Did you win the race as well? Oh, no, you did well, win the race. Won the race, race. Yeah. by a door. It couldn't have yeah. got any perfect. It was like the whole three of us were like, a door apart. It was, it was unbelievable. Um, tell us about your Spotify playlist. My spot, is that on the list? It, yeah, it apparently just... it's famous. It's on the list here. Um, Brock's, ask Brock about his Spotify playlist. Well, I keep getting asked about this because I always got my tunes in before the race. But, oh, I've actually made a playlist with our PR man, Mitch. So we've got a 
we've got a joint playlist together that we, we've made some tunes, but... Is it, I don't is know. It, people is it good like, music? Like, is there nah, any, you, anything you can sing to? Or is it nah, just, you'll just, like nah, it. No, nah, nah, this, this is like you guys. You is guys it, would like it. it. Yeah, it's okay. more like party. Yeah, nice. Yeah, not, not so new rap right. stuff. Yeah. I get abused every time I'm with you guys and I put my music on, <laughs> so i got to mix it up a little bit. Um, how was the billy cart race? <clears throat> Uh, we haven't raced yet, oh, yeah, but of uh, um, we're doing the promo for it. Yeah. We we found out like a week before that we had to build a billy cart to go to Melbourne. So yeah. Dado spent basically his weekend here building a billy cart. So we took yeah. it down to Melbourne and did the, all the promo for it. So um, they had two two kids, well, guys my age, a girl and a boy, do like a 20 metre strip and nearly have a major crash like you did. Yeah, so yeah, nice. it was pretty cool. <laughs> I was strictly told not to drive because what happened to you? Mate, I wrecked a six grand helmet. I put I put my race helmet on and I rolled it over and smashed six grand helmet. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. it was good fun. No, I had a bit of a, a bit of a sore wing actually after yeah, but anyway, anyway. It's all good fun. You had to have a crack. Um, how's your trip overseas, SVG? It's good, yeah. Good? yeah. Well good to go to Europe again. Like I miss racing there, miss travelling and stuff, so yeah. it's pretty cool to see. Monaco made me feel a long way from home. Yeah. Things were a bit out of my league, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Makes you feel poor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, it was good fun, though. And then Le Mans, obviously, was awesome to go to that event, see what it's like, and get to be in it and on the grid with all the jets and the helicopters and stuff. Like, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, and QR Open Day? It's pretty cool, hey? Yeah, yeah. It was, um, yeah. Driving out there, I was thinking there wasn't going to be many yeah. people there because it was pissing down rain. Yeah, it was a yeah. very average day, but you get out there and uh, there was a lot of people there, and there was always stuff happening. And there was actually good stuff on track. Yeah, Lounsey speared off in the Vulcan, but um, I don't think he damaged it. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the Vulcan? Tell us what this Vulcan is. Well, I don't actually know too much, but it's like a four million dollar car, I believe. Yeah. And uh, Aston yeah. Martin, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, the thing looks awesome and sounded pretty cool, yeah. but Lounsey's driving it and you could hardly <laughs> see. Like, it was, it did a very good job to, to keep it on the track for most of the time. But, yeah, um, yeah. yeah it was a cool did day. Did you go off twice? Yeah, oh, I think yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Whew, Expensive. Uh, brave in that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cool. We did the time comparison. Me and Declan did it. He was in the Dakar truck and I was in the GDR. Yeah. Things, so, the GDR is crazy quick. Oh, yeah. I was, yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> Getting to the braking zone, shaking. Uh, yeah, Bathurst co-drivers, finalised. G- G- we're teaming yeah. up together, GT. Yep, if he stays away from TV. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we've got to get him out of the co- commentary box. What's he actually doing the weekend? Does he do both? Or he's just all... I don't know. He normally just comes and sits in our truck and eats lunch and <laughs> tries to talk. He doesn't really do anything. Yeah. Wow. During the for GT's defence, during the race he is actually walking. He, he's, he's actually doing something. No, I'm yeah. talking about Bathurst weekend. Oh, Bathurst weekend. Oh, yeah. about no, 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 no. What's he no, doing? No, I don't know. Commentators. <laughs> <laughs> but does he? Is he going to do any TV on Bathurst weekend? Or well, I hope not. I yeah. don't think so. No, I think he'll just do what CL did year after year and does it. Does a little bit here and there, yeah. but no more than usual. So. Yeah. Keeping, keeping keen to be back or what? I mean, I'm keen to be back, yeah. yeah. I haven't done much driving for like six yeah. months, so I've, I feel like a bit underdone actually, so I feel like I need to do some laps uh, in the in the coming months. But um, yeah, I'll get back in the cart, I'll do a bit, I'll just do the ride, we've got some ride days coming yeah. up. There's, I think there's a co-driver session at Sandown as well, so. Is there? Yeah, cool. looking forward to cutting some laps to try to get up to try to get up to speed again. So Super Cheap Auto Wildcard's back. Yeah. Paul Russell. <laughs> He's, he's Zimmer framed off into the sunset, uh, and Lounsey's in. How do you reckon they'll go with Lounsey and Decker? I think it's a pretty good combo, actually, mm. and it makes a lot of sense, obviously, Lounsey going in with you coming in, and Declan 100% deserves a spot. Like, he's yeah. doing a great job in Super 2, so it's going to be pretty cool to see. But also, like, Super Cheap coming back on. Um, they're on Shane's rally car. They're supporting me on the helmet. So it's yeah. pretty cool that they're, they're supporting all of us in here. Yeah. Who do you reckon's going to qualify? I don't know. Yeah, not mm. sure. It might be like... Lounsy a, always turns up for Bathurst. Yeah, yeah, there might be the practice shootout going on. Yeah. It definitely time. will be. Yeah. <laughs> What's the latest with the Gen 3 car? When can we drive it again? We've yeah. Been booted. So, been... no, Gen 3 is well and truly on track. As you know, we've got the prototype out there. The, the front end's getting modified at the moment. How we come? Will, how come? Yeah. Uh, just to make it nicer. It, was, it would have been fine the way it was, but um, every committee meeting we go to, everyone wants to add, 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 and change. So... Mm-hmm. 
okay, no worries. We kept making the changes that, that were requested. Um, there's going to be ro adjustable roll bars, front and rear, which cool. wasn't in the original scope. Yep. Um, adjustability is going to be a bit better. Bef at our current car, you change the camber and the, you don't have to worry about the toe. So that wasn't going to be the case for Gen 3. You would have had to do the shims. It would have been an extra five minutes for the change. But anyway, we re reinvented the whole front end to fix that. Uh, and while we were there, uh, we made it, made it a bit nicer for the steering rack and also made it a bit wider for the Ford engine to fit in. So anyway, don't want to get too cool. technical. That's well and truly on track. Finished the design shortly. And, and then, as you, as you can see, we've, we're already into our fourth chassis down the road. Um, and now it's just a big job of collating all the parts together. So. I think it's going to be a cool thing. It's all coming yeah. together really good, and I'm pissed off I'm not driving it, to be yeah, honest. I get to yeah. drive it next week, actually. Do you? Yeah, yeah you're, an, you're an NZ. I'm at QR. QR. Okay. Yeah. Should be good. Shake, shake down. It's been a while. I haven't drove it for like six months. So. Yeah. Shake down, and then cool. um, then it'll cut some laps to tail and bend. So, no. Have you drove it with a gear shift yet? No. Nah. Oh. Apparently, I've done the most laps in the Gen 3, and I haven't drove it since January or February. Yeah. Oh, well, that's all we've got time for, fellas. Thank you. Easy. Thanks for Thank rocking you. up, Shane. I think it's your first one this year. Yeah, good to yeah, be no, here. Yeah, appreciate your time. <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's a wrap from uh, the Red Bull Ampol Racing Team second quarter. We'll see you for Q3 shortly.